An eight year long project from the Coastal Conservation Association is working to improve environmental stewardship off our shoreline. Today, the association deployed a 3D printed reef in the Pamlico River, and our Claire Malay attended and joins us now in studio. And Claire, what is the artificial reef, and how is it going to help the environment and the economy? Yeah, Angie, the reef encompasses 1.8 underwater acres, and it's just off the coast of Bath in a very popular fishing spot, and its designers say it will help ensure that the site endures continued fishing for years to come. Hey, let's get a project where we can create a reef that improves fisheries for North Carolina. Along with the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries and an environmental infrastructure developer called Natrix, the Coastal Conservation Association of North Carolina created the reef made of cement and sand through a new technology. It's a new process. It's called dry forming. And so our process is really fast. So each of these units that are about 4,000 pounds, we can produce in 30 minutes. And so it's, it's really rapid and you can create something that looks really naturalistic and like it belongs in the water as a reef. Yeah. David Sneed is the executive director of CCA of NC. A healthy fishery starts with a healthy habitat. And so by putting this, these structures in place, we're actually creating a new ecosystem for fish species to, to thrive and grow in. He says this is following a need to maintain the ability of these waters to support fish. And on this river in particular, the striped bass has been uh, a fish of concern recently. Um, there's been a lot of efforts to try to get that stock to recover and grow. Uh, and this, this gives them an opportunity and a place for that to happen. And artificial reef coordinator for the Division of Marine Fisheries, Jordan Byram, says the reef will particularly provide habitat for oysters and small fish, which in turn attract larger fish. Uh, oysters, uh, through a variety of, of harvest and uh, environmental factors, oysters are in, you know, are imperiled. Um, and so these are things that are uh, important um, to kind of provide habitat for uh, a healthy population. And as I was leaving, one of the scientists was able to show me a heat map of the reef, reefs that had just been placed in the water. And you could actually see that a couple fish already started nesting on the reef. In studio, Claire Molay, nine on your side.